John Desky Carrier Media Network Production. Copyright 2018. You see how that works? Club hopes you have enjoyed this. <laughs> How you take two? Oh man! Ah, uh, well that was fun. <laughs> uh, didn't we all have fun today? This episode was going to be a little bit more serious. Uh, than usual. That's right, what does Cull the Herd mean? We'll never find out, has that person left? Mech. Mech 605. It's like, what, is, what does putting pillows up your shirt mean? Hmm. But I'm glad that he did that right before ex exiting too. But that was fun. I didn't even catch that before I did all my switching and stuff. So, yeah, I knew I knew this week's episode. Yeah, what does called the herd? What herd? Herd of what? That's a good point. Herd of what? Um, I have a call I have to make. Ooh, they can wait. It's not an emergency. If it was a family, I would I would do a callback immediately. But it's not a family member, so they can wait. Uh, they were calling my cell phone, so of course they weren't meant to be on the show. Goats. I heard of goats. Maybe. Maybe they wanted to do a sacrilegious uh, experiment on my show. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, it's possible. I mean, it's not, it's no, uh, incident that we had on our hands yesterday. I was so nervous. You have no idea how nervous I was having, having the Discord open today. Because of the, the, uh, kind individuals that, uh, decided to make our days a living hell yesterday. You know, and I wasn't on the air at the time, and I wasn't vigilant enough, and I didn't have the Discord open, which is kind of partially my fault. So, but we got we got rid of them, and you know, we filtered them out, and you know, that kicked them. But again, rule one, two, and three is don't be a di don't be a dick, rubber band man. I'm so happy that you found this show. By the way, thank you for your contributions today. Please do stick around. Um, thoughtful, and I'm glad. I'm glad the opening line was, "Wow, some intellectual conversations." I mean, this this show normally doesn't get that heavy. I just want that to be known. The show normally tries to be. I, we normally try and throw one or two serious stories in occasionally, but we kind of. This week's news cycle, we couldn't avoid serious stories. Ah, uh, because... It kinda... Kinda not avoidable. Too many hot takes with, uh... Hot takes. With the, uh... The YouTube stuff. Because, you know, it, it, it's stuff that you have to talk about, because if your opinion's not out there, you can kind of get buried sometimes. Uh, but we also had stories that uh, we didn't get to this week, which makes me sad. I think we only had one story that we didn't get to, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, we only had one. Which we can bump that to next week. An 
easily bump that to next week. Uh, but, yeah. and it's weird doing the show today too, because it's much later in the afternoon. Uh, uh, for me as well, being in Australia, and normally the show ends for me at around 10.30am, and we're at like 10 past 1, so it's a lot later in the afternoon. Uh, because, I, and I thought that I would do, still do a show this week, but again, I have to carve out three hours for it, so. Rubber Band Man says, as long as you're not showing your breasts and doing squatch for subs, I'd say this stream is 100% better than most of what's going on in the Twitch world. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, we, we do a lot of different podcasts on this stream. Uh, we've got, well, there's this show, uh, we do game streams as well, uh, we do the Geek.io show, which is a general geeky show, it's the podcaster playground, uh, it's where we come, we, we come together, Geek.io comes together and plays around every week, uh, we have fun games and bits and guests and stuff, it's a bunch of fun. This last week we did a wish game, which I have outtakes for, uh, which are a lot of outtakes for, which I'm half tempted to buy a, the, some of those wish items and see if they turn up, particularly the surprise one. I think it was called, the, the, the item was called, uh, what you want you cannot think of, surprise, we can give you anything you cannot think of. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we also... Do a drinking stream. Uh, I'm on the drinking stream tomorrow. Same time uh, as, as GLS started this week. Uh, I'll be doing the uh, drinking stream. So we, we try and... I mean, no one wants to see my breasts. To be, let's be... I don't even want to see them half the time. And I don't have many. Many? I don't have many breasts. <laughs> Man in custard. I don't have many breasts. Just singular though. Many breasts. Uh, but we do pride ourselves on not being hot garbage, so thank you. Uh, Rubber Band Man asks, does Australia make good steamed ham? <laughs> Uh, are you referencing that steamed hams meme? Please tell me you are, because that, I love that. Uh, no, we do steamed clams. It's a regional dialect. Um, but if you're actually talking about the meat ham, uh, we do ham here. I've never had it steamed. I always have it baked. Uh, we do delicious mouth-watering hamburgers too. Can we? All right, let's. Can we do that? Will this video get flagged if we uh, if we watched steamed steamed hams? Do you think we'll get booted? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Delicious mouth-watering hamburgers from Hungry Jacks. That is totally not a ripoff of uh, Burger King. Totally not a ripoff. Totally not the same logo or anything. But I do enjoy a nice ham. I do enjoy that meme too. Uh, let's see. Oh god. The last time I did YouTube videos, I had to edit it out because it got pulled. Uh, oh, I'm searching YouTube for YouTube. That's helpful. Steam. Yeah, you know what? We we need to we need to blow off some steam. So let's. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> we need to blow off some steam. So let's do it with some steamed hands. 
Uh, alright, let's... Man, 2012 this was uploaded? I feel so old. Uh oh, it's loading. Hey! Computer! Work! Do your thing. Uh, let's see if we can get a full video here. Alright, here we go. There's a good Metal Gear Solid one. If you can find it, please post it in the chat, but here we go. I do like this. Well, Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. I do like oh, this so much. My roast is ruined. But what if I were to purchase fast food <laughs> and disguise it as my own cooking? <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. <laughs> this part is my favorite, by the way. That's a good part. Superintendent, I was just uh, stretching my calves on the windowsill. Isometric exercise. Care to join me? Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? <laughs> uh, oh, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steamed clams we're having. Mmm, steamed clams. <laughs> Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth-watering hamburgers. I thought we were having <laughs> steamed clams. No, no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes, it's a regional dialect. Uh, uh what region? Uh, upstate New York. <laughs> regional really? dialect, that's my favorite well, part. I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steamed hams. Oh, not in Utica, no, it's an Albany expression. I see. You know, these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. <laughs> oh, no. Patented Skinner Burgers. Old family recipe. For steamed hams. Yes. Yes, and you call them steamed hams despite the fact they are obviously grilled. You, uh, you know, the... One thing I should... Excuse me for one second. <laughs> oh, well, that was wonderful. Good time was had by all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be. Good Lord, what is happening in there? <laughs> this is also a great part. This is such a great video. Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. Seymour, the house is on fire! No, Mother, it's just the Northern Lights. Well, Seymour, you are an odd fellow, but I must say, you steam a good ham. <laughs> it's so good it's really good uh yes uh apologies rubber band man uh nightbot doesn't like random links because we've had uh uh we've had people do untoward things in our chat room, but I did get your link and trust you enough to show it. Uh, it's seven minutes long? Ugh. We may not watch the whole thing, but we'll see. We'll see where this adventure takes us. Uh, uh, on the... Uh, on the epic adventure. Uh, steamed hams. Oh, wait, what? But what? Okay, that's not the link you posted. I know that because I saw it come up with it's Metal Gear Solid. Don't watch the whole thing, you'll get the idea. Okay. Steamed 
hands. <laughs> I love the is the is the music Metal Gear Solid? This is Metal Gear Solid music, right? I might turn it down slightly. I like how it I like the bottom where it has the uh, menu bar as well. That's really good. Uh, Alright, we might... Select game level. <laughs> well, Seymour, I made it. Despite your directions. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. fast food and disguise it as my own cooking <laughs> it's the best it's themed like hams like metal gear meme one. out there it really is really good Steamed clams. No, no, I said steamed <laughs> hands. That's what I call hamburgers. I like this bit. This bit's really good. This is so good. Thank you. You call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes. It's a regional dialect. <laughs> uh, what region? Uh, upstate New York. Really? <laughs> well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steamed hams. Oh, not in Utica. No, it's an Albany expression. I see. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Again, we can't watch the whole seven minute video, but that is so good. I'm gonna... I'm gonna post it in the chat again. It's so good. Uh, steamed hams, but it's a... Th this one's also pretty good. Uh, steamed hams, but it's a mission from Grand, e Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> this one's good as well. I'm gonna post this one in the chat as well. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I like this man! <laughs> Well, Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. I like oh, this, because this is every GTA game You're ever. For an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gods! My roast is ruined! This background music is life if right if now. I were to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Uh Seymour! <laughs> Superintendent, I was just uh, stretching my calves on the windowsill. Isometric exercise. Care to join me? Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? Uh, oh, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Uh -oh. Steam from the steamed clams we're having. <laughs> mm, steamed clams. <laughs> And uh, now, 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 Seymour's gonna go to Krusty Burger. Oh, Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth-watering hamburgers. I thought we were having steamed clams. No, no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. I love this music in the background. Steamed hams. Yes, it's a regional dialect. Ah, uh, uh, what region? Uh, upstate New York. Really? Well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steamed hams. Oh, not in Utica. No, it's an Albany expression. I see. 
You know, these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. <laughs> I like the... <laughs> Sorry, I like the... I like the background thing as well, where it's like... Um... Oh. Press Y to responsibly uh, respond positively or N for Ooh, negative. Family recipe. Four steamed hams. Yeah. One thing I... Sh Excuse me for one second. Of course. Uh, time of year. At this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. Smash it. No. no. <laughs> it's so the steamed hams thing. So good. It's really good. I don't think we should play I don't know. We'll see. We'll test the waters a little bit. We'll start with those two and if we make it out alive. We'll, we'll, we'll be alright. We can do more steamed hands in the pre or post shows coming up. The thing is, I don't want to get cooked. Oh, catch you later, rubber band man. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Have, have a good night. Uh, yeah, the, the, may I see it? No. No. Just how stern that line is, uh, it is followed. No. May I see it? No. Uh, hey, we have a BuzzFeed quiz. We have a patented generic live show BuzzFeed quiz. May I see it? No. Oh. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna blow through this quiz real quick, as I promised myself we'd do a BuzzFeed quiz. This BuzzFeed quiz is as... as as realistic as ever. Based... What? It, uh, this is what Disney princess you'll be. Based on your brunch choices, this is what Disney princess you'd be. Yeah, I was gonna do a, I was gonna do a watch an old episode, uh, but I, I, I fought against it. No, don't close that. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, ah, there goes my music. There goes my music. I want my music back. All right. Uh, the the the, uh, the subtitle is "What's better than mimosas and princesses?" Because those two things go together so well, apparently. I'm gonna get my music back up. I'm sad. My music died. I'm so sad. All right, now it's gonna start from here because, of course, it is. Let's just jump ahead. Uh, we Hello. normally go through this together. Oh, hi, Caller, you're on the air. Where you, where, what's your name? Where you from? <laughs> this show is so sloppy. <laughs> hi, Caller's the writer. How are you? I'm good. I'm here for the BuzzFeed quiz. <laughs> you're here for the BuzzFeed quiz. <laughs> you, you come for the show, stay for the BuzzFeed quiz, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, how are you, <laughs> first of all? <laughs> uh, I'm good, I'm good. Good. I'm on my last week of a terrible schedule, and oh. next week is going to be a much better schedule for my for my life. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's always helpful. Yeah. So like right. right now, I'm working three twelve-hour shifts and a six-hour oh. shift every week, and next week that changes. So I'm really I'm excited to go back to working five days instead of four. So. Oh, there you go. I mean, yay for things being better for your life. I mean, yes. this week, this week for me, is just all over the place. I'm all over the place <laughs> this week. 
Uh, because, of course, now it's time for, for, for brunch, apparently. <laughs> uh, what time do you do brunch? Uh, do you do brunch at 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., or 3 p.m.? What the? What? Okay, I feel like there's, like, a real right and wrong answer to this question. <laughs> <laughs> but, because because if you do brunch at noon, you're literally eating lunch. Right, like, or at 3 p.m. <laughs> right, 3 p.m. <laughs> I'm still considering that lunchtime. Yeah, right. Or, or not, like, if you're really old, <laughs> that's nearly dinner. Right, right, exactly. Like, if you're 80 and in a retirement home, they, they do dinner at, like, 4. Right. Don't ask me how I know that. But anyway, that's... That's a whole other story. <laughs> uh, the, the perks of living right around the corner from a retirement home, right? Something. Something like that. Uh, so it's either 10, 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I think 11, well, I guess 10. 10 or 11, either one, I think, are fun. Let's go, let's go with 10. Uh, uh, who are you brunching with? Your bestie, your crew, your co-workers, your family, your boo, or by yourself. Oh, well, I feel like one of those answers is sad. <laughs> um, <laughs> your co-workers? No, just kidding. But, yes, yes. Um, um, actually, I would not enjoy that. Um, <laughs> oh, I love my co-workers, by the way. I mean... Mm. Wait, depends on which co-workers. co-workers. Am I talking about Geek.io co-workers <laughs> or IRL job oh. co-workers? Oh. <laughs> mm. Well, considering that your your Geek.io co-workers are in vastly different time zones than you... <laughs> no, um, no, <laughs> very... Geek.io it would be, brunch! It would, be, it would be rather difficult to have brunch with your co-workers at, at 11 or 10 a.m. <laughs> right, because I'd have to be up at, like... One in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, I I do quite enjoy brunch with my bestie. Or my crew. That's a lot of food. Like, that's a lot, though. Yeah. Doing brunch with your crew. My family. Alright, I go over to my family for brunch. My co-workers and your boo. Uh, or by myself. I, I, I'm that person that goes on dates by themselves, though. Yeah. I take myself to the movies most of the time. There you go. I'm going to branch by myself. I prefer going to the movies by myself because I also knit at the cinema, so... Aww. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't like being... I don't like being judged for my for my knitting at the cinema. <laughs> but how... Okay. Hmm. We'll get back to this BuzzFeed quiz in a second. How do you, <laughs> like... Is there enough light that comes off the movie screen? Or is it is it muscle memory at this point? It's muscle memory. I don't have to look at it when I knit. As okay. long as it's like a basic enough pattern, I don't have to. I don't have to look at it. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Wow, I'm really gassy so, like, today I do, too. I do most of it like muscle memory and by feel. Okay. So I can sit there and knit a pair of socks while I while I watch a movie. I did that when I went to go see Thor Ragnarok. It was the last movie I went to go see by myself. So. And that's such a knitting socks movie too. Like that. Right. <laughs> And it's such a fun movie. I love Thor Ragnarok. Like, oh, I love that movie so much. I love, I love most of Taika Waititi's movies, though. So, mm. like, I went into it knowing that I was going to love it. So it's, it's very like I can I can see the argument that it's very different from the other ones, like the other Thor yeah. movies. And yes, okay. it is very different, and like, and I I get that some people wouldn't like it because. I have some friends who didn't like it because they like the more serious Thor movies, and I'm like, but mm -hmm. those ones weren't really that popular. <laughs> yeah. And we just want the silly funny ones, so... I'm just really glad that Marvel and Disney allowed Psycho ATT to, to do his thing instead of, like, making him fit into the action movie mold. Right. So. Alright, well... Hey, there's anyway. a BuzzFeed quiz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. This, All right. This BuzzFeed quiz. This By is way, not a random review of Thor Ragnarok. 
<laughs> it could be. Um, I mean, I love the fact that I'm not on a time crunch either to end the post show. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably end it after this BuzzFeed quiz because uh, I'm running out of steam very quickly. Uh, but let's pick an av- appetizer. Meatballs. Cheese platter. Spring rolls. Cheese baked mussels. A spinach salad or a mac and cheese, or well, off of off the menu, not... off the menu, steamed hams. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of those are very brunchy. They are, <laughs> man, in custard. Uh, no, yeah, they're... <laughs> they're very brunchy. I mean, I mean, they're not. I mean, not none of them are really brunchy, considering that you're supposed to like. It's supposed to be a breakfast lunch fusion. Kind the only of thing. thing that's really, yeah, they're all kind of lunch. They're all kind yeah. of lunch. <laughs> I mean, from noon to three. I mean, I get, I get. Okay, all right. They they just don't know what brunch is. Gross and right, I have this law. Brunch rain. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, review so of brunch. brunch. So, okay, what, when I go to brunch, most of the places that I go to brunch, I look for a brunch burger where it's mm. it's a hamburger that has an egg on it. Yeah, that's what I want. You know what I? Like, I don't though. want mac and cheese. <laughs> I mean, I love American mac and cheese. <laughs> like, I adore uh, American mac and cheese. It's so good. I don't know what you guys do to it, but you guys make it so much better than what we do. But again, I don't know. I don't know. Many... There's a lot of sugar in it. Ah, that's oh, the it's... answer. The answer to everything. Why is why is this American food better? Is mm. because there's lots of sugar, and so all you you just really like sugar. See, I thought it was crack <laughs> cocaine. Actually, it wouldn't be oh. that. <laughs> I mean, it could be that too. <laughs> I mean, in what the lobster mac and cheese from Disney I had <laughs> wasn't that. It was sugar. Uh, no, well, it yeah. was Disney Magic too, so it was it was that. But the lobster well, mac and cheese at Animal Kingdom, oh, <laughs> so good. I I've got the cookbook. I can I can make it any time I like. But somehow when I make it, it's not as good as the one I had at Disney. Not as good, yeah. Oh, that's not. But magical. I mean, it's it's considerably more effort when you have to make it yourself. So. That's true. Anyway, uh, breakfast meatballs, breakfast cheese platter. That's a strange <laughs> sentence. Breakfast spring rolls, breakfast cheese baked mussels, <laughs> breakfast spinach salad, salad or mac and cheese. I'm spring rolls are kind of brunchy, I guess. Sort of. Kind of. But I mean, we did just have a long conversation about mac and cheese. Yeah, let's and go how with much you like it. Let's so you should cheese. go with mac and cheese. Right, let's go with mac and cheese. <laughs> uh, pick an entree. Here you go. Here's where you, you're coming oh, in. Okay. French toast. A smoked salmon sandwich, chicken and waffles, eggs benedict, flatbread pizza, or tacos. <laughs> I know I'd say it like that. I'm stuck. I'm stuck between French toast and tacos. To be completely honest, I would say go with the French toast. Oh, it's yes. more of that more of that sugary. <laughs> More of that sugary. Uh, <laughs> Rao says, always go with mac and cheese. Always. <laughs> uh, let's pick a dessert, shall we? Uh, chocolate fudge brownie. Blueberry tartlet pie, which no one sees the what? irony at BuzzFeed there. <laughs> which, okay. <laughs> I, I, you, you'll see the picture in about four and a half minutes when the Twitch stream catches up. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the delay is not that bad today, uh, and it's actually just blueberries put into a, a into a um, pastry. It's not even. Oh, oh my, that's not even. That's not even a like. Okay, first of all, a tartlet pie is not something that exists. Um, <laughs> uh, quote. <laughs> but also, like, it's just a tart or it's a pie. There's no like. There's no crossover. Also, what's a tartlet? Is it just a mini version of a tart? I, I guess so. A mini tart. A mini but, tart. But it can't be a tartlet pie. Anyway, but that's just... 
Particularly yes. when, okay, particularly when, I think that, like, a tart, I get a tart, it's very, like, you can have savoury tarts, but they're very, like, small in nature anyway. Yeah. Isn't, isn't a pie, like, just a massive share around thing? Yes, a massive generally. Share, a massive in share around US, thing. It is, it's a massive share around thing. It is, it is, usually it's about, like, ten inches hmm. across. And then you cut small pieces and you share it with people. Isn't um, sorry, I'm still typing. Instead this of way. instead of being single serve. Well, I suppose you can have a slice of pie as well. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> that... My my rant about this brunch, this this pick your brunch. <laughs> I thing love is... I love the brunch <laughs> rant and review. The rant review of brunch 2018. <laughs> The Reddit review of brunch on BuzzFeed. On BuzzFeed. <laughs> Again, we're having a BuzzFeed sandwich. <laughs> uh, but yes, it's well, I missed the first. I missed the first BuzzFeed. So, uh, it was twenty-two hot tips to Disney's heart. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so <laughs> so I got, I got the tail end of it. So that's good. Oh well, and you, well, and that wasn't a quiz. Right. Right. Exactly. Uh, hang on, let me... I'm messing around with something real quick. Okay, there we go. I've done my duty for the day, and done. <laughs> a toddler pie isn't a thing that it doesn't exist. Oh, whoops, I messed that up. Is it a thing that doesn't exist? <laughs> Is it a thing that doesn't exist? <laughs> that what, that's not what you said. <laughs> that exists. Okay. Well, this is... Keep ranting reviewing about uh, brunch while I fix this. <laughs> uh -huh. On a tray. Alright, so the other, the other options, I have... I have cheated and gone, gone to okay. the website and now I can actually see the answers. Uh, toffee pudding sounds... <laughs> I don't enjoy bread pudding at all. In really? Any way. What? Hang on. Yeah, I know. Uh, unpopular opinion. Um, <laughs> wow, this brand <laughs> review of brunch is... I don't like bread pudding. Bread pudding is super gross. <laughs> what about I just don't like the texture. Uh... I have a hard time with c certain textures. And it's like that okay. mushy... It's... Yeah, I, I just can't. Right. Okay, I got you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I thought it was a taste thing. I'm like, oh. No, they, they almost always taste great, but... It's just the texture. Okay. So if I could it, just get the taste with a different kind of texture, I'd be. It would be great. Hmm. I suppose a sticky date pudding would would suffice. Huh. I okay. don't know that I have ever actually had one of those. It's so. more like a pudding, like just a proper pudding pudding, than a mm -hmm. bread pudding. No bready pudding. Not yeah. Not a bready pudding. It's because uh, bready bready puddings are like are basically just bread. So, right. so yeah, no, it's it's more pudding than bread. The man <laughs> in custard, <laughs> <laughs> daily. <laughs> uh, we've got cherry cheesecake. <laughs> this show. Uh, we've got salt and ca salted caramel ice cream and scone. Just one. One scone. One scone. Um, I'm half tempted to go with the tartlet pie. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Just for the lols. <laughs> so we're gonna take a photo of it and put it on our Instagram for the lols. That segment, though. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, ooh, chocolate fudge brownie, though. Mm. Yeah, that's like the. That's that's like the essential dessert. <laughs> the, thing. the quintessential white trash dessert that I have established myself as. <laughs> You're you're very you're very basic today. I'm just, so uh... basic today. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... so basic today. All right, thank you. <laughs> I take that as a compliment, actually. It it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's because I'm not doing the show on a regular day that's throwing me off. I kept saying that, I kept I saying Sunday. That, that must be it. 
That that's totally why I'm so basic today. Uh, all right, we get to finally after dessert. All right, here we go. After dessert, we get to pick our drink. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, can you, you still hear me? I can hear you now. Whoop, are you there? Nope, oh, we've lost you. Oh well. Of course, we'll jump right back in. That's the cool thing about that. Uh, let's, hmm, how do I, do, 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 welcome back. Okay, hooray, thanks. <laughs> Yay, we can hear you now. I think Discord got a little bit laggy. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I've been having some internet issues tonight, so. Ooh, welcome to my world. Yeah. Uh, so finally, after we've eaten all of this food, we can get a drink. Oh, oh, so you have to eat all of the food first? <laughs> Man. Man, I know, right? The is <laughs> so dry. Uh, we can either drink water, uh, mimosa, oh. uh, a Bloody Mary at <laughs> 10am in the morning. I mean, that's what you do at brunch. Right? Anyway. <laughs> uh, coffee, a Gimlet, or a Bellini, a b b Bale b Bellalini, and this is our last question. Bel Bellalini, I don't know what that is. <laughs> bel 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 um, also, I've never heard of a Gimlet before, but I have now looked it up, so. Okay, it's gin, gin and lime juice, basically, <sighs> which sounds disgusting. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Gin is gross, anyway, in my opinion. <laughs> oh. Apparently we went offline, but now we're back. Oh. What? Huh. So that, that lag might have been on my end. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, that's fun. Uh, we're back now. Uh, I'm recording, so we've got, we've got everything on hard drive, so oh, that's, that's fine. Good. Yeah, I know. good, good. I'll polish it up. I'll put some sandpaper on it, and I'll sand it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, though. Like, alright, well, let's, let's not get into that. Let's talk about brunch. <laughs> um, yeah, putting wood polish on your bat is probably cheating. I'll need to look that up. Uh, yeah, I, I w would guess that's probably hmm. Anyway, so you have to pick a drink. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I have a dollar for every time someone said that to me. <laughs> Um, well, I don't even know what these cocktails... I know what a Bloody Mary is, but I don't know what a Bellini is. <laughs> okay, so a Bellini is, um, it's made with Prosecco, which is a sparkling wine, and generally it's peach-flavored, so it'll have, like, peach puree or peach nectar in it. Um, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, well, I like my. I'm I'm your cocktails. resident know it all about alcohol. Pretty well, much. okay, that's that's helpful to know. Uh, what about a mimo mimosa? M a mimosa is champagne and orange juice. Ooh, I'm in a basic move. I feel like choosing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not uh, having and the water. gimlet. The gimlet, which I just looked up because that one I didn't know, is is gin and lime juice. So it probably just tastes like, like a pine tree with lime in it. So, because we all know because what a that's appetizing. You know what I'm gonna do or not do, depending on how I feel, is go up to a pine tree and squeeze some lime juice on it and then lick it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be boring and just go with coffee. To be completely honest, I I mean, to be fair, liquid no. handicap for me is at ten thirty, so I suppose I'm not prone to not <laughs> choose an alcoholic beverage at that time. And I am going that around the true. world on fruity drinks, so maybe a mimosa. I mean, yeah, 
I think either a mimosa or a coffee are totally valid answers to to the what do you have at brunch. Let's go with the alcoholic one, because apparently right. brunch is for spilling hot tea. So my friends tell me. <laughs> Which, I don't know how you can spill tea about on, on a solo brunch date, but you'll find a way. Spill it to the waitress, go, oh my god, you wouldn't believe what Stacy said! And he's, and he's like, I'm just here to order you, get your uh, blueberry tartlet to you, sir. Okay, that's Stacy. <laughs> Alright, Mimosa, what, who, which Disney <coughs> princess am I? I got Belle! Yay! I I also got Belle when I, I I answered these as well. So, but I answered them different answers than you answered. Oh, them. so <laughs> Buzzfeed. I, like, except except for the mimosa, I also I picked the mimosa, okay. but I'm pretty sure I picked different ones on all the rest of them. So. Maybe that's maybe that's the trick. Maybe. Maybe that's the leading question. Ooh, they're coming after you, Buzzfeed. Hide your wife, hide your kids. Hide your sandpaper. <laughs> hide your YouTube videos. No, oh. oh. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Well, I am out of steam, I think. For my steamed hams that we're having. <laughs> So, I, I might put a pin in it, unless you've got something else, Chorus and Rhino. She's got something. I think I'm good. I'm gonna head off to bed, because I'm gonna work in the morning, so... Oof, yeah, you head off to bed. It's it's getting late, too, so... Thank you for joining me on the post show. I'm queuing up my outro music, that's why I'm taking so long, so... Thank you for joining <laughs> me, you for sticking around. Stalling a little bit? It's fine. No, it's not stalling, it's... It's... <laughs> Giving the patrons more time with m me. Oh, okay. Or something. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's play. No, we're not playing that as our outro. <sighs> you know, sometimes I wonder. No, we're not playing the Captain America <laughs> Civil War trailer, YouTube. We're not doing that as our outro. <laughs> Dear God, no. All right. Well, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> Alright. Bye, everyone!